Dimmick has always taken into account and always thinks about the needs of the people that we serve, of our neighborhoods. And we have really crafted our programs to meet those needs. My husband and I were jobless. Um, and it doesn't look like we're going to get a job anytime soon. My, my drugs of choice were uh, crack cocaine and alcohol. I absolutely had no control over my actions or behaviors. By January, we've evicted the Department of Transitional Assistance, um, placed us into a motel. That's when we officially become homeless in January. After being shuffled, between hotels for about four months. We were placed into the Demick Center. So I called my insurance company, uh, told them I wanted to get some help, and uh, they uh, referred me here to Demick. The place is very clean. The people were very friendly. They have case management, and they have housing advocate on site. They will help us obtain permanent housing, and they will even stay with us for 18 months after we obtain permanent housing to help us get back on our feet. The Dimmick Center has both inpatient and outpatient services. They're coming in younger and younger, and now we have a lot of patients who are coming in at age 18, mainly using the opiates, using heroin. When I came into treatment, uh, I, at that time I had two small children, had been married for about 13 years, um, was in the process of preparing for a divorce. I was uh, in active addiction, and, uh, and I wanted to make a change in my life. And after spending some time in the detox, my counselor over there referred me here to this program at John Flowers Recovery Home. I started to feel that, you know what, maybe this is possible. Maybe I can make the change. Maybe this is real this time. When you look at the underlying cause of addiction, we're looking at poverty, we're looking at trauma, we're looking at uh, violence. That's what Dimmick is really all about. That's what addiction is all about. That's what healing is all about. And that's what behavioral health is really about. When you enter into our community health center, you're really entering into a place where all of your medical and social needs are going to be met. The procedures we do here at the dental clinic are vast. We do things from the simplest cleaning, and then the other end of that spectrum may be full mouth extractions and complete dentures. The patients are just wonderful here. They feel comfortable, we allay their dental fears, and the next thing you know, they're bringing in their children, their spouses, and we're doing comprehensive treatment on the entire family. And I'm one of the pediatricians here at uh, the pediatric clinic at the Dimmick Center. We really look at the medical piece of things, but also all the social and economic factors that may affect a child's health and a family's health. Our eye care clinic is really one of our hidden gems. When you come to the eye clinic, you not only get your eye care needs met, but you're also able to get your glasses very often within the same day. In obstetrics and gynecology, we treat a wide spectrum of ages. We see young teenagers into women in their geriatric ages. We do a lot of screening with pap tests, and we do treatment of precancerous changes right here in the clinic. I get my mammogram done right across the street at the Demick Community Health Center. The Demick Center is really a blessing for our community. In this community, teen pregnancy is definitely overrepresented compared to the population at large. So we take care of the whole patient, their holistic needs, things like job retraining, making sure our teens stay in school, making sure that they have WIC. We give them the medical care, but we also take care of the sort of biopsychosocial needs. We've got a fascinating history. Uh, we started life in 1862 as the New England Hospital for Women and Children, moved onto this campus here in Roxbury in 1874 as the hospital, and was the hospital until 1969 when we became Dimmick Community Health Center. For a brief period, Carol and I were the only providers mm -hmm. here. Dimmick went through some hard times. There was one floor for all the clinics. It was a less than ideal setting for clinical care. There were like layers of grime. It was really um, hard. hard. <laughs> in my time here, we have increased the number of patients and clients that we served every year. I think our future is limitless.
Head Start programs are unique, but the characteristic uniqueness of this is where it's located and the amount of services that we can bring to bear on the parents. I came to Dimmick Center because it was local, it was affordable, um, and it was just part of the community. The Early Head Start program serves a prenatal population. We also begin childcare at four months old. The Head Start program utilizes a three to five model and prepares children for kindergarten. For working parents, the children can be here 10 hours from 7.30 in the morning till 5.30 in the afternoon. My kids do love the program. They come in here in the morning and sometimes when I go and pick them up, they cry because they don't want to leave. We can reinforce whatever they're doing well and strengthen whatever, you know, needs strengthening. The Dimmick Center gave my family stability, not just a piece of roof over our hat. A lot of our men and women come in feeling a lot of guilt and shame. Over time, through treatment, that guilt and shame is eliminated. I recovered not only my life and uh, freedom from drugs and alcohol, but also my wife and I reunited. We've been since married now 27 years this year. We have patients and clients from all over Boston and outside of Boston who come to us for our services. I love working here. It's a great place to be, and that's why I've been here for 10 years, and I hope to be here for many more. The dedication of the staff, and particularly the commitment of Demick to people that need these services is phenomenal. I'm proud to be a part of it.